It was the 1912 Summer Olympics in Stockholm, Sweden. Thorpe went to Stockholm with his coach, Pop Warner. Thorpe became really the jewel of those Olympics. First he won the pentathlon, which has five events, and then he went on to win the decathlon with 10 events. Every skill imaginable, from running to high jumping to pole vaulting to shot putting. You know, the, the motto of the Olympics is faster, higher, stronger, and he was all three of those things. Um, he became really the star of the Olympics, then went home to uh, back to school in Carlisle, had another great year, his final year at Carlisle as an All-American football player. And then in January of 1913, it was revealed that he had played minor league baseball. And when that was revealed, his coach, Pop Warner, the head of the amateur athletic union, James E. Sullivan, and the superintendent of the Carlisle School, Moses Friedman, all lied to save their skins and said they didn't know about this when in fact all three of them knew full well what Jim Thorpe had been doing and that hundreds of college athletes had played summer baseball. Most of them played under pseudonyms, one of whom was Dwight D. Eisenhower, the future president, who played under the name Wilson. But Jim Thorpe played under his own name. He had no idea that he was doing anything wrong and he was basically thrown under the bus by all of the white quote unquote saviors um, who were around him, and he was stripped of his gold medals. Uh, he fought to have them restored for the rest of his life. It didn't happen until 1983, 30 years after he was gone. The medals were taken away in 1913, and it wasn't until 1983 that they were partially restored. His descendants, his, his children, who by then were in older age themselves, were given replicas of the medals that were taken away from him by the head of the International Olympic Committee. This was in Los Angeles in 1983. But in fact, the records themselves were never fully restored. His name and, and his accomplishments are not even now in the Olympic record books. The competitors who finished second in those events were granted the gold, the gold medals, and they still have that, that record themselves. So there's still a continuous fight to this day uh, to fully restore Jim Thorpe's standing in the Olympics. 1983 was a partial victory, but in some sense a hollow victory. And all these years later, his descendants and his supporters are still fighting for the full restoration of what he did in 1912.